Hi everyone, so in today's quick card I'm going to be making another card using the Biggest Wish stamp set. This stamp set is from our annual catalogue and it can be found on page 63 here at the bottom. It's got five fonts in two designs and then a little bit of a kind of cross like accent stamp. So I'm going to be using the Big Birthday and the small happy today and I'm just going to be using two colours of ink I'm using Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay and then literally from my Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay card packs I've pulled two strips which were just scraps which I've cut to half inch wide one of each I've got a basic white thick piece of cardstock A4 which I've cut straight down the middle on the eight and a quarter inch side, scored and folded it so it's going to create a top opening card and then I've got another piece of basic white which is this is the thinner basic white that I use for stamping or layering or die cutting and this is three and seven eighths by five and five eighths and this is what I'm going to stamp on and I'm going to layer it on top of the white basic card because I think white on white looks quite nice. These are just going to be simple cards using really just the stamp set and, and nothing else apart from maybe a bit of card. So I'm going to bring in my stamping pierce mat because the stamps are photopolymer so you need a bit of cushioning underneath because they don't have any inbuilt cushioning like our red rubber do. And the first thing I'm going to do is ink up in Coastal Cabana the birthday and I'm going to stamp it about an inch from the bottom inch and a half from the bottom something like that so that's the birthday in Coastal Cabana and I'll just clean the stamp while I remember then I'm going to bring in the happy that I've already got mounted and this is going to be inked up in Bermuda Bay I'm going to stamp that just above it like so so very very simple stamping just going to put the lids back on my ink pad and then I've got these two strips so I'm thinking that I'm just going to literally layer these up on here might overlap them a little bit and I'm going to cut them down so I'm just going to cut these on an angle and I think I'll have one like that and then let's see how this one's going to look. Do them both the same way but maybe cut them a little bit smaller. So I think that's going to go something like that. So let's get some. <clears throat> I'm using our stamping seal adhesive. So I'm just going to pop that one like so. And then I think we'll overlap this one just slightly like that. And then also in the stamp set are these little kind of like stars so I'm thinking I'll use Bermuda Bay yeah and maybe just put a few little stars and then this will just get stuck on the front of my card and I'm going to stick it flat so these cards you know shouldn't cost you any more in additional postage you could add a bit of bling on if you want so I'll pop that like so okay so we don't have a coastal cabana blend I don't think but I've got Bermuda Bay here so I'm just going to use the brush end and very very lightly I'm going to flick it in my lid now I don't recommend you doing this all the time because you will ruin the nib on your brush but I'm just going to give it a few quick splatters and then I'm going to 
whack my wink of Stella. So that will just give it some shimmery splatter. So if I just zoom in there for you. So literally, we've just got two strips of, you know, what was scrap card, the greeting from the stamp set, and then some splatters of Wink of Stella and Bermuda Bay. I'm not sure how well you'll see it. It's just very, very subtle. And then when you open it up, we could put the stars inside just to carry the theme through. So if I just ink up maybe the corners and then you could do your envelope to match. So another card made using just the biggest wish and a few scraps of card. So I hope you like the video. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.